Good morning, today is the day of the Osaka Marathon 2023. I'm out here in Japan with Mizuno. Super thankful for this opportunity and I'm gonna give it everything today. Just woken up, it's currently five to five in the morning. Um, I woke up naturally at about four o'clock in the morning, so yeah, I've just decided to go with it. The race doesn't start till nine o'clock today, so I don't need to rush. Um, I'm just going through my sort of morning routine, getting everything together, making sure I, I stay hydrated. Um, because yeah, today's going to be a big day. I've been training for the last eight weeks for this one day, so yeah, I'm, I'm certainly ready physically. It's now all about preparing mentally. With the marathon distance, I've only done a couple of marathons, but I've, I've learned from, from the past few that the marathon is very much a physical challenge is it is a mental challenge um, there's gonna be a point out there on the course today where it really hurts where I feel like I'm hitting the wall where my body my mind is telling me to, to stop to give up um, so yeah I'm just trying to prepare myself for that push through those mental struggles out there on the course try and believe in all the training that I've done over the last few weeks um, and yeah try and look back at some of the the training sessions I've done to hopefully give me strength when I'm when things are feeling tough next thing I'm gonna do is write down some splits on my um, arm just in case my watch doesn't work or the, the buildings um, sort of block the GPS signal. So today I'm going to be aiming for around 325 to 330 per kilometre. That's roughly where I think my marathon pace is. Um, and I've got my watch um, set up to beep every five kilometres. So that means going through each 5k between 17.05 and 17.30. So that's my sort of bracket that I want to be hitting each 5k split. So to go through the half marathon in 72, uh, between 72 and 73.45. When you're, when you're running a marathon, it's quite hard to, to think straight, um, especially towards the end of the marathon when everything is, is hurting. Um, so just having a little reminder on your hand. Um, sometimes I write a little, a little mantra for the race. Um, maybe I'll do that today. I've got about an hour and a half now until the bus leaves in reception. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. Um, this morning and get ready to race. It's gonna be a good one. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, so the contacts are in. It's time for some breakfast. Let me talk you through it. So I've got some bagels that I brought from the UK. Um, already cut in half because I knew I wouldn't have a knife. Um, I've got a banana and a chew here from Precision uh, Fuel and Hydration. Some water and that is it. Keep it nice and simple. Um, this is what I've had throughout my training block. I'm not changing anything today um, compared to the last sort of four or five long runs I've done on, on Sundays. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick to what, I, to what I know, then head down to reception for about six o'clock and try and find some sort of coffee. Um, and then I'm ready to go, yeah. I'll take my gels, uh, I'll take one gel before um, the start line and then about three or four gels throughout the course of the race. Um, but yeah, let's get this breakfast in me. Exciting stuff. This isn't pretty at all. I'm gonna try and mash it up a little bit. Mmm, tastes like home. <laughs> Salt time, baby. Three sodium tabs, and we're ready to rock. So I think I'm ready to go. This is my bag that I've got to take to the bag drop. It's got my number on it there. Um, yeah, pretty hefty bag. It's not got a strap to it, so I've got to carry it in my hand like that. Anyway, contacts in, hat on, Insta360 camera, phone. Race vest. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's do this.
to the bag drop. There's all these signs here which have the, um, the letter of your corral or your starting pen and all the numbers. So we've basically got to go find our, our pen, our number and hand off our bags. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep some, some layers with me because it's quite chilly. So yeah, it's getting real now. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go, the bag's done. Oh wow, just found some cherry blossom. Japan is famous for its cherry blossom. And this tree is already blooming. That's pretty cool. I didn't think I was gonna get to see any uh, cherry blossom because it's not quite the season yet, but um, yeah, that tree there is, is already blossomed. It's pretty beautiful. Just left behind the Osaka castle behind me and we're walking to the start pen there's so many people I think it's going to be a lot a lot bigger of an event than I than I thought thousands and thousands of runners everyone trying to get to the toilet or trying to get in their pen it's it's chaos but um yeah I can't wait now I'm ready to go for sure so I've just caught up with Sarah from the running channel Hello. how are you doing I'm good how are you yeah not too bad we're just on the way to us to the start line now are you yeah. expecting, expecting a PB today? I was until I smashed jet lag sleep, like with night one sleep one yeah. and then last night woke up at about 3am. Yeah, so. I was literally the same. I think I had about maybe two, three hours of quality sleep. Yeah. But, um, Did you yeah, find it was really at 5am? I was like, I could run a marathon PB right now. Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> just yeah. head out onto the course and do it. But I feel like this is almost like an evening race now for us because it's because yeah. the, the time change is like nine hours. So. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we get on, but uh, best of luck. Thank you, you too. Cheers. So here we are in A Block. The elites are all the way down here. Right the way down there, if you can see them. Behind me is B Block, so I'm going to try and do a bit of hustling and get as close to the front as I can. We've got 15 minutes now until the start line, so yeah, let's see what I can do. Well, on the start line, we got a little bit closer. Just up there is the, is the very start, so about five or six rows from the from the front and we've got 10 minutes till we start so yeah look how many people there are thousands and thousands of people interesting to see that people sit down before the start of the race definitely wouldn't be doing that in Europe everyone's sort of pushing and shoving each other about aren't they but um yeah everyone seems a little bit more civilized here <laughs> Five minutes to go. One minute.
Ben. Bye, Maxi, ottimo. Yeah, and you? Yeah. <laughs> wow! Great. Good job. Thanks, man. Great. Catch you in a bit. Five, ten second PB. Had to really dig deep there, but yeah, I think, according to my watch, I ran 228.23. My previous PB was 228.29. So yeah, hopefully a, a little bit of a PB there. Oh, God, they got so tough. It was so comfortable until about. 35k and then the last 5k the wheels just came off but yeah just gonna go through and get a medal and, and all that jazz thank you thank you very much thank you thank you very much thank you very much oh my legs are in bits this part of a marathon is so random all the little bits and bobs you get. I remember in uh, Valencia, we got some sort of like tomato at the end. Thank you. Thank you. No idea what that was. So it's been a good few hours since the last clip. We just got back from dinner. We went to a really nice, um, authentic Japanese restaurant this evening and tried some really nice sort of local delicacies, which was, yeah, really cool experience. I'm glad we got to do that because I've always wanted to try some, some really good Japanese food. We did so on the first night, but that was like the next level tonight. In terms of the race vlog, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'll do a bit of a race recap in the next video here on the channel, as well as a bit of a review of the Wave Rebellion Pro from Mizuno, which is the shoe I was wearing today. I've got a big flight ahead of me, a long day of travel ahead of me tomorrow. Um, I've got to be out of my hotel room about half four and it's now 11 o'clock at night, um, ready for our flight back to, to London at seven o'clock in the morning. I just wanna say a big thank you to all the well wishes. Um, and people have said their congratulations on today's video, it means a lot. Um, and sorry if I haven't got back to you, but I will try to catch up over the next few days, especially with all the travel. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it from Japan. It's been an incredible experience. Big thank you to Mizuno, to Rob from the UK team, as well as Graham. Um, you've been yeah excellent in facilitating this experience. And it's certainly one I won't forget in a long, long time. So yeah, really appreciate that. And to come away with a 10 second PB is, yeah, the icing. The, the cherry on the top, cherry on the cake? Is the cherry on top? I don't know. Anyway, it's been incredible. Until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.